Are you ready, kids? I can hear you. Ooh. What is this cooking show on the TV? Subscribe on YouTube and watch it for free. Cooking each week, a nice tasty dish. Sushi has a plenty, stitched up like a fish. <laughs> right, hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Mr. K. I'm going to do something that I've not done before. Uh, so, but obviously, as usual, I do have a guest helper, and here he is, our very own Mr. Lever. Hello, all. <laughs> Hello, Mr. K. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you. I'm very well. And I've a little bird been telling me that you've uh, been swatting up on some of my episodes. And I have. Been have re- some fun facts to relay. I've been revising the history oh, of the I chicken goose already for you, sir. Well, first time in your life. I'm very impressed. Well done. Right, okay then, so what we're going to make today then, sir, is we are going to make homemade chicken goujon. So, what we're going to do, we're going to need a panne, okay, which is a flour, uh, mixed eggs, and uh, flour, mixed eggs. Oh, breadcrumbs, breadcrumbs, that's right, and the breadcrumbs are what we're going to do. (laughs) Bread's at the ready. (laughs) The breadcrumbs. Right, okay, then. so what we've got then, I've just got... Now, the good thing about this is when you come in to do breadcrumbs, right, you can absolutely use anything. So what I've got is a finger roll. Uh, I've just got some... Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know what that is. It's Did gluten, you know, sir, gluten-free. the chicken goujon was actually originally known <laughs> as a chicken finger in the US. Yeah. Oh, was it? Oh, right, a bar okay. called Spanky's in Georgia. Oh, right. That's, that's where it started. Into, you know, I think I prefer uh, chicken goujon, don't you? Chicken it sounds finger, much so. more goujon. Yes. We're going to put this into uh, the food processor, but yep. what I thought I might do, right, just to, to jazz it up a little bit, and you can use pretty much whatever crisps you want. I've, what I've got here, like I've got some, I've got some mix up So I've got French fries, I've got like Dorito type things, uh, you know, uh, you know, monster munch, really, really spicy. So I think what we're going to do is we'll put those into there. So if I can get you to do that, then, sir. So just lock just you on. Yeah, I'll take the lid off. Yeah, just take the lid off. Just give them a bit, bit, bit of a, that's off. it. Yeah, chuck them in. Bit of bread. Yeah, bit of bread, bit of bread. And then, obviously, I'm going to leave it to your discretion to chuck some of those in. I've so eaten half of these. Want, so. They're very spicy, so. Yeah, so a, a few more, a few more, a few more, maybe. Mr. Collington doesn't really like spicy food, so I'll oh, put them on. Oh, I'll tell you what, you might get a look in the I know, yeah. Okay, normally it's like a rat up a drain pipe when it comes half, to food, so uh, heard, you know, you know most people don't get a look in. Right, okay, then, so just on to number one, sir. There we go. Okay, and then turn off it. So what you have to do, you just, you just have to keep pulsing it for the uh, dot. I'm a pro with a bl- blender, sir. Well, I can't uh, say it, but <laughs> I can use one. <laughs> yeah. I'm pro. Oh, yeah. I'm going to say, please don't break it. Oh, let's have a look I'd call them you. breadcrumbs, sir. Yeah, I'll tell you what. We'll one for the quick. chef. Right, okay, I think that is pretty cool. It's a tricky one, isn't it? Well, do you know what? <laughs> Sometime later. <laughs> I can see the cutscene now. <laughs> well, how oh, oh, there, there we go. go. There we go. There we go. Perseverance, that's what we need. Perseverance. Right, okay then. So what we're going to do with this then, sir, I'm going to put that under my Saturday kitchen shelf. Should we get rid of the, bl- the blade? Yeah, yeah, put it in there. That's it. Uh, Right, okay, what I'm going to do then, if I could ask you just to decant some of those uh, into there. Of course. And then obviously we've got, we've got plenty to use there. Look, that's it. Brilliant. There we go. Fabulous. Because we're going to need a fair few of these. So for our panne then, we've got, uh, you know, our flour, we've got our breadcrumbs, and now we're going to have our eggs. So what I can, what I'm going to do here, look, is if I can get you to crack those two eggs into there. It feels and like then a lot just, uh, just give them a bit got of a... the whole egg? Yeah, yeah, all of it, yeah. Just give it a good whisk up. And then what I'm going to do with this, look, because, uh, you know, flour's, you know, fairly neutral, what I'm going to do is, look, I'm going to I'm going to put some, quite a bit of seasoning in here. Quite a bit of seasoning. Summer, winter. So. <laughs> yeah. And the process is, it's, uh, it's flour first, uh, eggs, and then into your breadcrumbs, and then breadcrumbs, douche, into there. Oh, 
that's it. Okay, so make, you're going to make I've just gone straight for this, yeah. sir, without any sort of advice from you whatsoever. So, so if this one goes wrong, yeah. I'll take that one for the right. team. Right, okay, you take one, one for the team, okay. back and then lob it on there, then. Lob it. Be and then obviously the other two as well then. So and then what, what I'll do is once you've done the second one, and we're just about ready to rock and roll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll pop these into. The Should have dabbed a bit so of excess yeah. flour off that, shouldn't yeah, I? First sure time probably. Plenty, plenty of egg on there. Plenty of egg. Plenty of egg. Can't pick it up. It's a very clean process. This. Yeah, it is. It is. You can imagine what it's like when you've got about uh, you know six thousand of these to do in a, in a restaurant. Uh, it just uh, it's 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 fun. It is fun. Right. Okay. So while you're doing that, then okay, then guys, this is the important bit. Look, this oil is hot, hot. This hot oil is hot. This oil is hot. Try saying that once you've had a few beers. Right. So please, please be careful when you're popping it in there. And then what I'm wanting to do, look, I'm not going to move these until the bottom is actually uh, cooked. There we go. I'm saying that's... Oh, I'll tell you what you've... Like you, yeah, you, you, not very even, that, no, is it? No, it's, it's not, is it? Bit no, of a so mess, that yeah, one. Yeah, it is. It's, actually, it's rubbish, that one. Uh, but, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll let you... As soon as it's your first oh, time... Thank you. I'm learning. Okay. Well, you are learning. It's just a slow process, but we're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. Look, absolutely Shandy. fabulous. Right. <laughs> Whilst they're cooking, I think what it what would be nice is if we could have some kind of dip. So I thought, chicken goujons, what goes well with chicken goujons? Garlic mayonnaise. Of course. So, what I'd like you to do, like, and I'll, I'll quickly show you. Right, garlic, right, bash down. Okay, that uh, makes it so much easier to peel. And what you're going to do, you're going to just peel it off like this, look. You're going to take this little root a bit off, because that's horrible. Right, okay, and then what you're going to do, just push it down. Right, and then literally cut these into strips like this. Right, and then into little dice like that. And then once you've done that, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So you've got that one, and oh. then you've got that other one there to do as well, because we want it to be pretty garlicky. I'm gonna chop this and make it really good and not cheap cool. with a garlic crusher like Mr. Jones does. Oh, after watching absolutely. Absolutely. See, the blasphemy on, on his episodes oh, when what, he what, said he used a garlic crusher. I know, I know, what is, what is that all about? Shocking. I mean, what is it all about? Right then, sir, so what we would like you to do now then, using that last uh, spoon there, yep. you just want to get uh, maybe a couple of tablespoons of, uh, you know, stuff in there, look. Sounds strange, this, sir. It's a really long spoon, that. <laughs> That's because it needs to go right to the bottom of the glass, doesn't it? We're in. I've gone for in three. My, I know yeah, two's a couple, but... In my best but... Yorkshire accent. Right, how spicy do you like this? How oh, I, I'd chuck all of that in. You want, you want to chuck it all in? You want to chuck it all in? Go on, I'll tell you what, man. I love so a bit of it. I love a bit of So if you... What, what you need to do then, just give it a... Stir up. Give it a stir and we'll just turn that bad boy over. Right, what I'll do, let me take one of these out. I'll cut it in half. Let's see what it's looking like inside. Because I reckon these are going to be pretty hot. Oh yeah, tell you what. We don't want pink, do we? No, we don't. A few more minutes and they are rocking and they are looking fabulous, I'll tell you. On the theme of chicken, sir. Go on then. Have you Is this another fun fact? Have you heard from Gordon Ramsay yet? Oh, don't talk to me about Gordon Ramsay. Don't talk to me. You know, I'm, I'm bombarding him with phone calls. He's just ignoring me. I reckon he's scared of the challenge of coming on and being with me, you know. Then, sir, I think they're probably cool enough. I'm now, excited. Then. I'll Please. go for this one you chopped yeah, in half. Yeah, there, absolutely. And you can have that bit later. Oh, yeah, super. I'll give you that. Bit of mail. It's going to sound really bad through the mic. Nah, you'll be fine, don't worry. What sound effect over Oh, right? yeah, sound effect. Yeah. Well, that, actually, that's good. That's good. What do you reckon? No, it's really good. Is it? Yeah. Let me have a quick, quick thing in it. So look. Like, really juicy, actually. That garlic mayo's got a lot of, a lot of garlic in it. Yeah, it is a bit garlic, isn't it? Mm. Well, I'm okay what. with that though. Mm. I tell you what though, sir, I think they're fab. I'd eat, I'd eat ten of them. I think. Would you? Yeah. No share boxes in my house. Do you believe in life after life? I can feel something. Twenty nuggets. 
That box needs rebranding. Oh, right. Leave a box. You believe in life after love. Hey, leave a box. I'll have more. Well then, sir. I'm glad you've enjoyed that. I've thoroughly enjoyed Thank you very much for being a guest. I very much appreciate it. As usual, guys, in my last episode, I did say I still haven't had a single photograph of anyone's uh, dish. So, be the first. You never know, you might even get a nice little prize. Cheers, guys. Bye.